Laurie, thanks for speaking to the Raw. Um, Pleasure. You've rejoined the Mariners after two years, nearly two years in China. Um, can you tell us a, a bit about what your role is now in the Mariners? Yeah, no, my new role is general manager of football is an official title, but it's basically what I was doing before I left. Was, um, you know, looking after contracts, looking after salary cap. It's all the kind of football side of things, but nothing to do with coaching. You know, obviously, Arnie, Arnie covers all the coaching aspects and running the team. All the stuff off the field, I'm involved in um, kind of looking after that. So, and plus, I'll get involved in some of the commercial stuff that I did before, and obviously a lot of the community stuff as well. So, uh, I kind of cross section of the, the work, but um, it's, it's a lot of stuff that I've done before. And you're obviously involved in recruitment players as well. Yeah, and obviously I work in the army with that. You know, I'll, I got a lot of CBs sent to me, and I just run them past the army for any interest. And um, you know, obviously I go hunt that player down, but. The club's in a great situation at the moment. Obviously, Arnie staying at the club has been a big plus for the club on the field and off the field because a few of the boys who might have left the club have um, stuck back and stuck around. You know, Tom Rogic is signed last week, Patrick Swansby, Hedge Bogic, and um, Zach Anderson is another young one who's come into the club who might have looked to go elsewhere. That's actually well, that was my next question. I mean, how big of a coup is it to keep Arnie? It looked like it was he was very close to, to joining Sydney. You know, you, it, it was close, and I think if you'd spoke to Arnie at the time, he would tell you it was close. But he, I think he looked at his long-term goals, and um, he was very, very happy with the squad of the Mariners. They've been very consistent over the last two years, and I think that was a big part of why he stayed at the club. You know, he, he's very loyal to the players. Uh, and he's done a, a great job in difficult circumstances and I think the players have repaid the faith that he's had the club by signing on. There's been a lot of speculation about Russian investors. Um, can you talk about what, what's the financial situation at the club at the moment? You know, Where are they at? Um, the Russian thing is, that's one of the first things I ask when I come back, is, is the Russians true? You know, it's, it's all there, but it's, it's all been signed off on and it's still, they're still hopeful it's all going to come true. There are a lot of legis legislation stuff that I don't understand and don't get involved in, but they're still confident that that stuff's going to happen. But as far as I know, the club are not relying on that, and they're looking at other ways to keep the club um, keep the club going. And um, over the seven years, the club the club's always been behind the struggle. You know, it's it's always been a hard slog for the club with the the smallest smallest area, the smallest business set up up here, and we've always had above our weight on the field and off the field, sponsorship wise, so the club will continue to go, you know, um, it's not going to be easy, but the club at the moment, is the off season, so now we have to look at getting, um, obviously getting new sponsors, more sponsors, um, getting community involved and going and getting a big build up to next season, because obviously the club done quite well in Asia, they've um, won the minor premiership, which is, um, obviously I'm, um, I'm from the UK originally, I'm from Scotland, and um, you win the league, you win the league, you know, as simple as that, you know, and um, so the club, the club on the field's done a great job, and off the field, to keep the club ticking over, over the last seven years, has done an amazing job to keep going, so I know there have been a lot of doom and gloom talk about the place, but I can assure you, the club's working very hard to have a very sustainable club, the new centre of excellence has um, come along leaps and bounds, you go over there, it's like going into a European training venue, they've got a field and three quarters for their own use, they've got the soccer fives in there, you know, it's a great setup. the pool's going up, starts working the next month or two, and then um, the hotel, the office work, so all that stuff will help um, sustain the football club. And as you mentioned, you've re-signed Tom Rodjick, who you know, was a sensation last season, and Patrick, who has been huge at the back for the club in the past few years. So they're big pluses? Yeah, look, I, think, I think Patrick would go close to becoming one of the best imports to come to the A-League. He's been, he's been so reliable, popped up with a lot of great goals. He was the top equal goal scorer this year. But, and I think Ali Wilkinson, who's been a fantastic player for the Mariners, has just stepped to a new level, having Patrick's experience alongside. Um, so Patrick on and off the field has been outstanding for the club. Young Tom Rogic, obviously I missed a lot of his games. Um, I saw a few when um, we could manage to get the internet signal to get them uh, downloaded, but great talent. And um, I think it's the best decision for him as well. You know, him moving to another club for a, his goals is to go overseas, but uh, for him to go to another club, I think would have been a wrong move for him because 
he's comfortable with Arnie, he's comfortable with the boys in the setup. Um, so I think it's a great move for Tom to stay for his own development and for the club. Obviously, he's um, been playing that number 10 role, he's, he's done well, boosty has gone now, so he's got that role to sell. But obviously, he's, he's going to need to improve and work hard. I was over there the other day and John Hutchinson was taking a mickey out because he only lasts 60 minutes. And, um, you know, he's, he's got he's big up there boy though, you know, he's like six feet one, six feet two and he's, he's still a young lad and a bit of growing to do yet, but great talent and I think after re signing Arnie, Pedge Bodic signing these guys, it's just the kind of icing on the cake with Tom's decided to stay at the club because it's been well documented, he's had a few bigger offers from other clubs. And you've brought in uh, Zach Anderson from the Gold Coast. Uh, the Mariners looking to bring in a, a marquee or an overseas signing like previous years? We've, um, at the moment, basically we've got 21 of our squad signed, you know, so it's a great situation to be in now, Zach makes it 21, um, and we're probably just looking for a striker now, as most other clubs are, so it's going to be um, in no rush now, you know, we've got a settled squad, we've got young Burnley up front, Cosnick, Big Green, young uh, Duke, he's been promoted from the youth team, so we've got depth there, but we need, need that experienced player. So we'll not be diving in there, but it's basically only one more squad, one more player left for the squad, and which will be a striker of some sorts, whether it's an overseas striker or a local guy, and we'll, we'll just wait and see. But there's no rush now. Are there any uh, players from the, the youth team that you think will be knocking on the door for first team selection next season? You know, the youth team's done brilliant over the last few years, and Anthony Caceres, who's been a revelation for what he and the youth team this year, Mitchell Duke. Who on his debut the season prior made his uh, score up in the Gold Coast after jumping on the plane that afternoon and uh, going straight to the game. And the other one's Jimmy Oates. Jimmy Oates is a young, versatile player who can play in many different positions. And um, the three of them have st stepped up, got full time contracts, were involved with the ACL squad. And um, I think over the season, um, I think you'll see some for these boys because Juki's hard working, a kind of a more refined Matt Simon thing, he's got a high work rate and a big heart like Matt had. Um, the service everybody's raving about the boy that um, he might even put, put pressure on Tom Roger. And Jimmy Oates can, is a versatile boy, he can come a lot of positions, so three good signings for him. And I've heard a little bit about the um, the young uh, African striker, Corbina Apia Kubi. Yeah, he is. And again, I don't know much about the boy. I saw when I was back in September for a couple of months. He was a, he's a flying machine. Uh, he came off the bench a few times and the youth team scored goals. And I know they've got big rats on him, so.